Hey, what's up? I'm Cass, and welcome back to the Seriously Sick. Invincible. So, today I'm vlogging it again because I can't set up my camera currently and I don't know why. Anyway, let's ignore that. And one other disclaimer thing. Uh, my face might be a little red and the pink and whatever. Sorry, it was pink day at my school. So I just got home and I'm like <laughs> covered in pink. So sorry about that. This week, if you haven't noticed, is acceptance week. And I got kind of confused of what to talk about, sort of. But at the same time, no. So as you can probably tell by the title. I'm talking about, you know, trans acceptance and transphobia and all that stuff. And no, I'm not transgender and I have never experienced anything related with dealing with that or being trans or whatever, but I do have trans friends and stuff. So I can relate but not relate, if that makes any sense. The kind of the main topic I want to talk about today is how you can accept them and just be like, they're trans or whatever, I don't care, like, they're, they're human, great, good job, in the nicest way possible. But there's another thing where it's like, so, a little story time, actually. So, there's this girl named Sally. Sally has a couple good friends, and, you know, she likes talking with people, and she's very, you know, involved in the LGBT community, and she's very, you know, outspoken. And one day, she realizes that a couple of these trans peeps, I don't remember or what, and they were getting a lot of, like, attention and kind of, like, they're being very accepted and loved and, you know, whatever. And also on Instagram and stuff, people were very, you know, open-minded and whatever. So Sally decides one day, I'm trans. You see how we're going with this? Sally for a while is, you know, contemplating things and is being very open-minded and actually trying to figure this stuff out and be like, well, when I was younger, I always liked guy things and was quite convincing and, you know, told all her closest friends, you know, I'm, I'm a man now, you know, use he pronouns, do all that. And me being respectful did that. Until I stopped being friends with this person, and then they realized, oh, they're not getting as much attention anymore. And they decide, yeah, I'm not trans anymore. So they go back to being 100% female. And wearing dresses again, and growing their hair back, and it's just, uh, okay. If you pretend to be trans, you are not accepting of the community. You're rather, like shaming it or discrediting it because when you claim that you have all this dysphoric whatever when you don't and I don't want to say that for sure because again I don't know people can experience different things anyways but anyways in the majority of it when you say oh you know I'm gonna get this surgery done that surgery I'm gonna start this or whatever you're taking away like the proper attention or, you know, help that actual people who are actually, you know, trans and going through this stuff need help with. If this is any consolation. So when, say if I was to walk down the street and be like, oh, you know, I have massive chest dysphoria. I hate it. I don't want it anymore. I want to bind, which sometimes I do. I just, because, you know, that, that, that's fun. But I'm not trans. And I don't actually have dysphoria from it. I just don't like boobs. But when Sally decides, oh, I have massive uh, dysphoria, so I'm going to do this, this, and this. So when someone who actually is and is dealing with dysphoria on a massive scale, who is actually suffering, is, like, denied the same kind of respect or attention. I just don't understand why people feel like they need to do that. And you're like, oh, well... I'm just a massive ally and supporter. No, you're not. If you're pretending to be it for attention, you're taking away and you're like, I almost consider that like a form of racism, if anything. 
because you don't see people who are like, oh, I'm very respecting of the black community and they're, you know, painting themselves black. You don't see people doing that. Because that's a m massive, like, no-no. But yet you're willing to almost do a indirect hate crime. Because I feel like if you pretend to be that, like, whatever, you're almost making fun of it. Because you're like, oh, all trans people do this, so I'm going to do it and get the same exotic reaction. Like, it's not right. Anyway, I'm sorry the angles and everything, and I'm kind of like in this weird spot. But I hope my point kind of comes across that, like, don't pretend to be someone you're not for attention's sake. Be yourself, and that's probably how you're going to make friends. And I could speak from a non-personal, personal experience that... You know, people rather be accepted for who they are as a person instead of what other people make them out to be. So if you're pretending to be something, stop. It's time to stop! And be honest with yourself. It's one thing to be confused about, you know, gender identity and all that stuff, and that's great. But don't, you know, assume things or, you know, pretend to be something that you're not and that could potentially be offensive to other people. Um, that does it for me. I'm your Saturdays. Um, the, all the Seriously Sick social media will be down below. We got a new Snapchat account. If you're watching this on Saturday, you're with me. The Snapchat code is the Seriously Sick minus the C. So subscribe, like, comment. Comment what you think about this subject and like if you kind of understand what I'm thinking or if you've met someone or heard about someone doing the same thing i'm curious and you know subscribe to my personal channel down below as well and all my personal social media will be down below as well anyway that does it for me tomorrow you shall have ryan's video hopefully anyway so yeah and i'll see you guys next week with some halloween shiz so that'll be fun so yeah and i'll i'll see you guys later <laughs> bye lit Saturday to end